Welcome back! Uh, if you joined us right from the beginning and went out immediately and bought all of the tools that I told you to, you have been sitting and staring blankly at your rubber mallet for about six weeks. Uh, so today I'm going to explain what we use a rubber mallet for. And there's a few things, but uh, the reason we have a rubber mallet is that its face is soft so we can hit our metal without worrying about marking the surface. So it's not going to dent it, it's not going to scratch it, it's just going to move it around a bit. It's not very good for shaping metal, like with uh, it, it, like dishing or flaring, but what it is good for is bending. So what we're going to do today is take our lanes from this shape out to this shape. If you recall, uh, what we're aiming for is a pauldron with three of these flappy lanes down below. And all these are, are these guys. So this is going to be pretty quick. There's a few ways to bend things, um, depending what you're doing, but mostly it's just put your metal against something and hit it with a rubber mallet. So I'm going to show you two different ways, uh, one with just the stump that we have here, and then another with something to bend it around. So like with a lot of our things, I'm going to start at the middle and work out towards the edge and then do it again in the other direction. Um, I could start at the edge and work in using this process, but you'll find it's a lot easier to go the other way. So what I'm going to do is find a flat spot on my surface, um, give myself a little bit of lift, just a tiny little bit, and a bit of back tension. So I'm just putting a bit of spring in this metal, and then I'm hitting the metal down. You know, see, there's a, there's, there's a little curve. Just after a few swings, that's quite a curve in it. Now I will do it the other way. So that's it. 20 seconds, we're done. So now I'm going to show you the other way. Um, it's slightly more difficult because it requires another thing to hit against. Uh, where did I put it? Oh. So this is a very empty propane canister. I, I emphasize I have emptied it a lot. It is completely empty. It's dead. It's full of just air. Um, and I'm going to use that as a curve to bend things around. There's nothing special about this can except that it's about the right radius, a very bit tighter than uh, I'm working with. Um, and this is such a simple shape that you really don't need a stake to bend it around, but as you get more complicated shapes, having stakes that you can bend things around that are about the radius you're working to can help a lot, especially when the curves get tight enough that you can't get your hammer inside and you have to work from the outside. It's also a, nice to have a vise to clamp this into, but I'm going to work on this stump just to keep it uh, sort of narrowed down to the tools we have. So here's my last lame. And again, I'm going to start in the middle and work to the outside. If I started at the end and worked backwards, you'd see the bending that I did would actually get undone as I go. So I'm hitting just ahead of the curve. So the piece of metal and the uh, can are in contact here. So I'm going to be hitting just a tiny fraction ahead of that. So you can see it jostling around a whole lot. It's a lot nicer uh, to work with this clamped into something, but you can see we got a nice curve out of it. So let's do it in the other direction. Oh, so there we have our curve again. So now we have these three lames, and we're going to put them 
into our pauldron uh, next time. Uh, off screen, I'm going to flare out the bottoms of them so they all look nice and match, but we saw how to flare last time, so you don't have to watch me do that for an hour. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!